begin with an active search underway right now to find a person of interest after a deadly shooting in East Point. Now, this is a story that we first brought you as breaking news last night at 11. Police are looking for this man, identified as Dennis Evans. He's believed to be driving a black 2019 Kia Optima. East Point police want to talk with him about a shooting on the 16,000 block of 10 Mile near Gratiot. Two people were shot. We're told one of them is dead. The others in the hospital. The condition of that person not known right now. It is still not clear what led up to this shooting. So be sure to stay with 7 Action News on air and online for updates as new information becomes available. This morning, a new lawsuit is taking aim at Oxford High School in the aftermath of the school's mass shooting. And this one names counselors and teachers at Oxford High, as well as the parents of the accused shooter, Ethan Crumley. The parents of Tate Meir, one of four students murdered, are among those filing suit. They say more could have been done to stop that November 30th tragedy. They want accountability and a change in the law giving public schools government immunity. New documents filed in court indicate that Ethan Crumley's attorneys will be pursuing an insanity defense. The 15-year-old charged in the attack as an adult. He's accused of first-degree murder, attempted murder, and terrorism. Crimes that could put him away for life. Legal experts say that they're not surprised by the insanity maneuver. The issue will be his state of mind at the time of the shooting. The first step in the process will include a mental evaluation. All right, it's Friday. It's going to be a cold day, though, yet again today. I know you're tired of uh, me saying that. Temperature is going to be in the upper teens. Wind chills in the single digits. A lot of clouds today and a slight chance of a few flurries or a light snow shower this afternoon. Tonight, partly cloudy, low of 3. It is going to feel minus 10 to minus 10 and minus 5 to minus 10 by tomorrow morning.